Hi Georgie Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. To make this card I've used stamp sets Forever Fern and Quiet Meadow. I'm using the splatters and the writing on this stamp this set. Oh and the sentiment. And on this one I'm using a few leaves. Card, I'm going to change the colour. I'm using Night and Navy, and I've got a Night and Navy of 11 and 3 quarters scored at 5 and 5 eighths, folded in half, and I've got two pieces of basic white at 5 and 5 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths, one for the inside and one for the outside. And I'm going to have this this way instead of that way. So get started we need to stamp on this. I've also got a scrap of navy and I'll get a scrap of white for the heart. So to get started that's my sheet because it's nice and clean at the moment. We're going to be stamping, and I'm going to stamp in this corner and this corner. So, with let's find the inks soft sea foam, we're going to stamp our background stamps. So, we're going to stamp this, and we're going to stamp two of these in each corner. Like that. Oh, help if I put some ink on it. Clean it off. And then we're going to use Old Olive. And we're going to use this long leaf stamp. And we're just going to go either side of that. Like that. Clean off the stamp. That's all we need there. And we're going to use Night and Navy. And we're going to use our bubble stamp. And we're just going to use one of these right in the middle. Like that. Yeah, that's the way I want it. Clean that off. Right. But no, I'll leave it open because I need that in a minute. Right. I've got crumb cake here and the script stamp. I have to see if I've got it the right way up. No, I haven't. Right. And with this, we're going to stamp off and then stamp and stamp again. Like that. Along the uh, design. just so that there's a nice bit of script on there. Change the block for a different stamp. And now we'll bring back the Night and Navy and with the splatter stamp, stamp off and then just stamp across the top of the leaves and that believe it or not is all we do on the front 
So we'll put that to one side and we'll get a scrap of white. I don't think that's big enough, let me see. No. Nope. Have to start a new bit of scrap. So we get our sentiment. And this is heartfelt love and caring thoughts are with you. And we just stamp that down there. Like that. Um, yeah, that's our stamping. And what we need to do is punch this out. Oh, wrong punch. That doesn't matter. We'll have a frilly inside heart and a straight outside heart. A frilly. Just realised what I said. No, we can't. Let's do that again. So, use the right punches this time. Right, we want the straight heart. scalloped heart in blue. That's better. That was sitting in the middle there. a bit bare. Don't know what I've done. Oh, I know what I've done. I took the writing, the script out a bit more. Let's put add some more script. Because I did take it to the middle. going to add like that. That's better. And then put that on there. That's a bit better. And then that will go on there like that. So let's add our paper to our card base. Making sure I on straight put the inside in inside I've left pedal lane could have done some leaves or some inside but never mind right Add the heart together. Now 
with this heart we're going to put on with dimensionals. And before we put the heart on the card, we're going to put some silver thread. I've got much of this left. So wrap that a few times around my hand or fingers. Rolls all over the floor. All I'm going to do is grab it in the middle and stick it to the dimensionals. So that it spreads out. Making sure the edges are stuck in. going to stick this in the middle like that I don't suppose you can see that thread on there yeah, it's just about all that's left to get stuck on is some gems. I've already coloured in a few blue pearls. So I'm going to stick three on. I'm going to put one up there, one down there and one there. I've coloured in more than I need, but that's all right now. Too much glue there. And there is our card. Hope you like it. Quick easy card for you. And you don't really like to make these kind of cards. Well, if you like it, give us a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon.